Hey dummies, I'm back, and I'm alive. I apologize for the absence. I was kidnapped by the deep state who put me in a windowless van and drove me to the even deeper state who shoved me in a box and mailed me to the relatively deep but not deep enough to craft your entire identity around Derek state. I thought this is it, Ramses. You're going to exit the world like you came into it, naked, screaming, and surrounded by nameless government agents. But once it turned out that I had no info on the myth known as Steve Harvey, they dumped me in the Chesapeake Bay, and I was dredged out of the water by my new best friend, Wayne. Thanks, Wayne. Love you, buddy. Anyway, it turns out I can't leave you dinguses alone for more than five minutes without democracy collapsing, because I come back and everyone's talking about a constitutional crisis. But what does that even mean? Well, buckle up, because you're about to take a ride on the truth train. Ramses Vanderslice explains the current constitutional crisis. The Constitution is the cornerstone of our democracy. Now, we all know the Constitution was written by God when Trombone Pemberton flew a kite too close to heaven. But what you may not know is that this document contains numerous secret clauses and codes, which may mean the end of civilization as we know it. Let's get this out of the way, though, okay? A prevailing theory put forward by renowned constitutional scholar and professional big boy Nicolas Cage says that there's a map on the back of the Constitution. Well, that's dumb, all right? Because everyone knows maps were invented in the 1950s by a flock of geese that just couldn't get the whole South-North thing sorted out. It's well documented, anyway, that the only thing on the back of the Constitution is a cheat code for Goldeneye that makes Odd Job even shorter until he's basically just a hat with shoes and a gun. Constitutional danger number one. According to Article 2, Section 3, the President may, on any given Tuesday, dismiss both houses and replace them with representatives of his choosing. Trump actually did this recently, but no one seems to be covering it. Look at this. We are going to appoint ISIS. Bye-bye. Now that's obviously troubling because the language barrier is just going to be a nightmare. But it gets worse. Constitutional danger number two. Fair warning, this one's pretty spooky. Look at the text of Article 5. Looks pretty normal, right? Well, it's it's not. It's uh, it's not normal because why would I show you, uh, you know, something normal when this is a con when I'm a conspiracy and I would I would show you something that you wouldn't know that's uh, that's, that's the opposite of it's a code, okay? It's a code, all right? You got me. You circle some letters. It says a thing. It says Zuckerberg is coming, which we knew that already, okay? In the grand scheme of things, it's not a big surprise if it's the next couple of years or, you know, sooner. We just, he's coming, so get ready, I guess. Constitutional danger number three. Paper cuts. You really gotta watch those edges. Constitutional danger number four. I've saved the worst for last. This is truly horrible, and I am sorry. The fine print of the Constitution says, we can take your hot dogs and there's nothing you can do about it. Well, you know what, Trump? You can take my hot dogs from my cold, wet hands because I'm not gonna go out without a fight. All right, me and Wayne, my best friend Wayne, and I will fight you. And we'll fight Zuckerberg and ISIS and whoever else you throw at us because a life without tubed meats is not a life that I'm gonna live, man.